the real reason I want to become, the real excitement that I have as only someone who is in the very foothills of understanding exactly what you do, is it seems to me that there is, of course, this massive potential of disruptive technology and insurgents and startups to take um, on the jobs and the, the investment and the prosperity of the future. And it's so important we have some of those insurgent businesses right here in London rather than simply in the United States. And you are one of our best chances. But to me, it's something even more than that. Obviously, you've got amazing opportunities using blockchain technology in areas like banking and finance and insurance. But I think some of the public policy applications are potentially transformational. And there are fairly obvious ones, it seems to me, like have people hold their medical records, which could solve that particular problem. There's the issue of how we protect intellectual property which for a country that produces so much intellectual property is going to be absolutely vital in the digital world. But the one that most excites me is the potential that your technology has um, to fight corruption and to deal with failures of governance and governments and the rule of law all over the world. Because the more I was Prime Minister, the longer I did the job, the more that I could see that corruption and the failure of governments, and the failure of rule of law, it, and, and the presence of conflict in so many countries was what was actually keeping them and their people trapped in poverty. And I think there's so many opportunities that you have because your technology is digital, because it is decentralized, because it is transparent, because it is held away from governments. You first will have this opportunity to give the poorest and most marginalized and dispossessed people in the world the opportunity to have property rights, to be able to carry out transactions, to be able to save, to be able to invest. I think your opportunities, for instance, in the remittances market, a huge market, to help people have lower transactional costs and better property rights are massive. But I think you also have the opportunity, if we can get it right, to actually help these governments and these countries to be less corrupt, to have the rule of law, and have something else that we have in our country which sits alongside the rule of law, which is not just a set of rules, but a sense of trust in the institutions that we use. So I think you're on the brink of a very exciting revolution in all of those areas, which as someone involved in uh, public life is, is very interested in. So it's great to be at the start of a revolution here in London. I hope you keep this revolution going. I hope you make sure the government hears loud and clear the things that you need to go on succeeding and growing. Because if there ever was a time when we need to explain that business and enterprise and wealth creation are actually the foundations of what our countries are based on in a trading and open way, in a trading and open world, then that time was now. So thank you for letting me come and say all those things and share in some of your amazing glory that you're building uh, here uh, in Tech City and here at Blockchain, it's a real privilege. Keep the revolution going. Thank you. <laughs>